Hello, welcome to Maths with Noel. Today we'll be learning time, quarter past and quarter two. Hi Niall, can you remind us a few things before we get started? Can you show us what three o'clock would look like on the clock and explaining what needs to happen? Three o'clock. So it has to, so the hour hand is our green hand here, the shorter hand. And the minute hand is our red one here. And when it's o'clock, which we're not going to be doing today, the minute hand will be pointing to 12 always. And then the hour hand will point in at the number that what o'clock it is. So that's three o'clock, very good. And can you show us what half past three is, explaining again the position of the hands? So this has to, so the minute hand when it's half past has to go halfway around the clock mm -hmm. to the six and then that has to go in the middle of three and four. So when it's half past the minute hand is always? Pointing to the six. Okay, very good. Now, what is that big circle called? What part of the clock is that? Face. And do you know how many quarters there are in one face, in one whole? Four. Okay, so today we're going to be learning quarter past and quarter two. Okay. So if we have four quarters, can you put the clock on 12 o'clock? 12 o'clock. Okay. And can you just use both hands together to count the four quarters going clockwise but you need to stand so we can see it yeah and show us the four quarters okay so when it goes to the three that's one quarter mm -hmm. and then two quarters make a half so when it goes to the six that's two quarters and that's three quarters when it goes to the 12th, that's four quarters. So can you show us what will happen when it's quarter past three? Um, it will, this will point at the three because that's one quarter. And then that will point at qu quarter past three. Okay. At so the quarter past three and four. And do you know how many minutes there are in quarter of an hour? Fifteen. So how many minutes have gone past three o'clock? Fifteen. Okay, so can we remind everyone at home how many minutes in one hour? Sixty. Very good. And how many minutes in half of an hour? Thirty. Thirty. And how many minutes in quarter of an hour? Um, 15. 15. Okay, good. How would we write quarter past three? Uh, we could either do, um, we could write it like this. Quarter past three. Okay. Is there another way that we can write it? Or we could write it like three colon fifteen. And why is it fifteen? Because fifteen is in quarter of an hour, and if it's quarter past, that means it's fifteen past. Okay, quarter past, fifteen past. Okay, good. Now let's do another time. Yeah. Can you set? the clock to quarter past nine. Do the clock first. Okay. Quarter past nine. Okay, explain the hands. So, that's pointing around quarter past nine. I try to do it as best as I could. Okay, so it's gone past the nine a bit, so it's on its way to ten, but it's not quite halfway. Yes. It's about quarter way between the nine and the yeah. ten. Yeah, okay. and then that point to three, as I said, would happen when it quarter past. Quarter past the hour. And how would we write, show us one way that we would write quarter past nine. Um, one way. 
9.15. 9.15, so it's 15 minutes past 9, so we write 9.15. And what's the second way? Yes, that's it. Quarter past 9. Very good, Naya. Okay, let's put that back. And let's do one more. Quarter past. What about quarter past 6? Quarter past... Six. Okay. So that stays on the three, and then we'll go Let's back. See. We'll go back in time today, and then that's quarter past. Okay. Okay. So that points us to three, and then that's quarter past six. Okay. So it's quarter way between six, six and, and seven. seven. Very good. And how would we write quarter past six? Quarter past six. Quarter past six. Turn to six. Hmm? Okay, very good. Quarter past six. Any other ways? Yes. Let's see. Six fifteen. 6.15. Very good. Okay, brilliant. All right, put that back and now we'll go on to the next part, which is a bit tricky. It's a bit, yes, a it's bit. A bit trickier than the quarter past. It's quarter to the hour. Yes. So let's put the clock on 7 o'clock. Let's have a look at the clock again. 7 o'clock? Yes. 7 o'clock. Okay, so that's 7 o'clock. So can you show us, Niall, what happens when it's quarter past seven? But stand to the side so we can see the hands moving. When it's quarter past seven. So that would be going slowly, minute by minute, like that. In what direction? Clockwise. Okay, until it reaches. And then it reaches three. And then while that's happening, that would be going quarter past yes. seven and eight. Good. So it's quarter past seven. What happens when another quarter of an hour passes? So when it goes to half past seven, can you show us? But stand to the side it so you can see. It will go another quarter slowly. Yes. And then it will go halfway. Between. In between seven and eight. Good. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn that minute hand another quarter of an hour clockwise. So can you do that for us now? So that will be going to the nine mm -hmm. and then that will be closer to the that will be quarter to eight and pointing court. So that means 15 to eight. Okay, so it's 15 minutes to eight or quarter to eight. That means in quarter, another quarter turn, what time would it be? Eight o'clock. So let's make the quarter turn, but let's have a look and make that quarter turn to eight o'clock. Yes. So before it gets to eight, it has another quarter way to go. That's why we say quarter to eight. So put it back in quarter to eight. Very good. And how would we write quarter to eight? Um, we would either do this. Yes, quarter to eight. Now there's another way and that's when it gets a bit tricky. And we need to know our minutes. So let's revise. How many minutes in one hour? 60. How many minutes in half an hour? 30. And how far has that minute hand gone around from the hour? How about fraction? Three quarters. Three quarters. Now, do you know any way that you can work out how many minutes in three quarters of an hour. So we know that half of an hour is 30 minutes 
and we know that quarter of an hour is 15 so we could add 30 plus 15 and then that's the time it will be so what is 30 plus 15 30 plus 15 so first we add the 5 okay 30 plus 35 mm -hmm. and then we add 35 plus 10 mm -hmm. 45 the minute hand has gone around three quarters and we know it's 45 minutes how would we write that time Seven forty-five. Very good. So it's seven forty-five. So forty-five minutes past seven o'clock, which is also quarter to eight. Okay, good. Let's do another one. Let's do quarter to five. Quarter to five. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is what we're doing. Quarter to five, but you didn't put the time. Oh yes. Let's see. Okay, so it's not yet, the hour hand's not yet on the five, and the minute hand has gone around three quarters. Yes. So that's quarter to five. So you just showed us how to write quarter to five. That way, and then we do 4.45. 4.45 is the second way, because yes. 45 minutes has gone past four o'clock. Yes. Let's do one more. Let's do quarter to three. Okay, so that's how we would write quarter to three. Now, can you show us on the clock? Okay, now on the clock. Quarter to three. Yep, okay. Okay, and is there another way we can write quarter to three? Yes. Two colon forty-five. 2 colon 45. Okay, very good. Can me and you try a quiz? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. How many minutes in one hour? 60. How many minutes in quarter of an hour? 15. Very good. How many minutes in half an hour? 30. Great. How many minutes in three quarters of an hour? 45. 45, very good. And what's another way for us to write quarter to four? Um, quarter to four, 3.45. Excellent. Quarter to eight. Um, quarter to... We don't have quarter to eight. I want you to tell me how to write quarter to eight as a quiz. <laughs> 7.45 Very good Quarter to 11 And um, 10.45 Very good What about quarter past 1? Quarter past 1 one fifteen. What about quarter past 6? Six? 6.15 Quarter past 10? 10.15 Half past 10? 10.30 10 <laughs> Okay, I'm just checking Okay, that's brilliant so that was a good job and see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did press that subscribe button. Bye!